So uh, today's ingredients. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hello, guys. Welcome to Kyuho's Chusa Kitchen. Today, I'm going to make chan. Chan is Korean traditional food. We usually eat during Chuseok or Lunar New Year. There are so many different types of chan. Today we're gonna make pollock chan and beef chan because this is our favorite. Chan is the food you dip in flour, egg, and fry them. So think as like a pancake, but it's not something that you dip with maple syrup. It's a savory pancake. Well, today I have a special guest, Sarah. Because Chuseok is all about family time. So, Bimo is already waiting here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Okay, so, are you ready? You're, you're, today you will be my student. Okay. Today we're gonna make Dongtaejeon, Palakjeon, and Beef Chan. My favorites. Okay, so, do you know what to do first? Shall we start? Okay. I hope I know what to do first. All you need is pollock and beef, but beef you need a eye of round cut. It's a very special cut. It's uh, very tender and it needs to be really thin. Yes, that's the key. And also salt, pepper, and flour, and obviously eggs. Why is this thing here? Sorry. Oh no. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's a protein shake uh, cup. I don't know why it was there, but uh, yes. So let's start. You have to drain, or more of a blot, the pollock so there's no excess water content. And also for beef, so it drains the blood. This is made out of rice husk. Just place them like this. Can I move this? For now, yes, Here. please. Alright. I don't really like seafood, but for some weird reason, this is like my favorite type of chan. I remember I first tried it at your grandpa's house. Because I guess it reminds you the fish and chips? Yep. Right? Because growing up on the East Coast, I grew up eating fish and chips a lot. Except we eat this with haddock. Haddock, oh yeah. Okay, now, what do we have to do? Do the beef? Uh, not yet. We're gonna oh, I thought put... I was right as a student, okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Salt and pepper. Oh, yeah! Yes. Okay, wait, do we put this directly on the... Yes. Pollock? Just yeah. like... Yeah! Is that good? Yeah. A little more? Over here. So even though you don't put enough salt, that's okay because uh, once you're done, you can dip it in, dip it in, dip it in the soy sauce, mm -hmm. so the flavor will be still okay. All right. Good job. Thank you. I don't know if that was like a real compliment or just like condescending. <laughs> hey. It's like the simplest thing. <laughs> okay, can you put the flour in here, please? Perfect assistant. <laughs> Maybe I should always have you here. No, I'm good behind the camera. Next. Beef. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. Good. Chun size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to eat them. I'm so hungry, like... The best thing about chun is that you can cook a whole bunch and then you can reheat them whenever you want. Yeah. You just throw them back in the frying pan again. Yeah. What am I doing? I right. think it's too much salt. Well, why didn't you tell me to stop? Aren't you the teacher? Today you will be my student. Okay. I was waiting for the... Okay, that's enough. That's enough? Thank you. I mean, come on. It's a basic knowledge, Sarah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey. Give me the pepper then. You're doing good. Very good student. <laughs> now, break the eggs, please. Oh. Good. Oh, <laughs> Shut <yeah>. up! <laughs> it's better if you don't say anything. Also, it would be nice to have long chopsticks. Oh, yes. yes. 
Otherwise, if it's too close, you're gonna burn your hands. Yes, very nice. So we are ready to fry these mm -hmm. things. Which one do you want to start? Well, Bimo says you need a lot of oil. Yes, that's what makes it yummy. Yeah, this is definitely a very different chusaw. I feel like over the last several years, even without COVID, we've kind of been like slowly downsizing a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I remember my first couple times, and I've never seen so much food in my life. Okay, Tungtejan first. So first it's flour, egg, then grill. One of my first times going. The amount of chun that like your family would make at that time. What are those big basket things called? Like those big round baskets and like we would make a whole bunch of like chun the day before. Chusok and then we would like put this like kind of basket cover on it, keep it in like this kind of cool room and then in the morning like you refry and heat them, right? Because you can't make all this the same day. You don't have that much time but... Yep. There were just so many different kinds. These ones really stand out to me. Yeah, I love Tung Tejan. Crispy outside, soft inside. If you don't eat meat, you can do like the Pajan too. We did make an episode of that one of Mm-hmm. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. Looking at this beef. Here. The sun is out again. It's been raining and sunny this whole day. It's really weird. Our lighting's probably whacked. Mm. Definitely this, because of the COVID-19, a lot of Korean culture is also changing. Yeah. We used to gather 15, 16 people at grandfather's place mm -hmm. for this holiday, but now look at us, just two of us. Mm -hmm. I think even before COVID, like a lot of changes were taking place anyway, mm -hmm. but I think COVID just accelerated that change. Very true. I think a lot of people want to have the holiday just kind of like smaller groups of family. So another thing about chan that I like very much is that it goes great with makgeolli. Oh yeah. Which is, you know, Korean rice wine. The only thing I'm really sad about is that we're not able to have the makgeolli from your grandpa's house. Mm -hmm. There's like a local brewery there and they literally buy it in this like, it looks like the kind of like container you would keep like gasoline in. Yeah. Like it looks like you shouldn't be drinking it. Yeah, it's Chan delicious. is perfect food to get drunk. Can I have this? Go ahead. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, careful, it's hot. Ah, oh, really crap. hot. Oh. Melting in your mouth. Makoli time. Ta -da. It's a little early, but I can't not have makoli with this. Mmm. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the amount. This is very filling. Mmm. 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 Well, happy chusok. Happy chusok. Mmm. Happy meal.
Oh. Man. The simple things. This is Ooh. life. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Oh, the fluffiness. By the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Yes, mm. we have our website with them too. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know what Squarespace is, Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your website. We have our own website with them. Their templates are really beautiful and professional looking and their services are great for whatever kind of website you want to create. Squarespace can authenticate with your social profiles so you can auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr. You can also see how your visits, unique visitors and page views trend over time as well as top traffic sources. So if you guys want to give Squarespace a go, we do have a link in our description box so if you want to start your own website and then launch it, you can use our link and code for 10% off mm -hmm. for your new website or domain. Yes. I'm gonna have some more Dongtaejeon. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we actually eat over there in the veranda? I think that would be really nice. Right? Mm. Anyway guys, yeah. Thanks for watching and so if you also try this at home, take us on Instagram so we can, you know, see how you guys did. And hopefully you also enjoy this meal at home. We'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye. Did you stop?